Today FM. Today, Today FM, FM rocks. rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. Fijians urge to take precaution. And juvenile among those arrested for breaching restrictions. From the studios of FBC Suva, Atera Lendua. A flood warning is now in force for low-lying areas, small streams, and areas adjacent to the Waindina River in Naitasiri and the Waimanu River in Sawani. A flash flood warning remains in force for low-lying areas, small streams, and areas adjacent to the Wainimala and Wainimbuka Rivers, Nambotini Village through Nabua, and Misari to Lami along the Queen's Road. The warning also applies for low-lying areas and small streams from Suva to Nosori to Korovo along the King's Road and other low-lying areas within the Central Eastern Division. The water level at the Waimanu station was 5.8 meters at 10 a.m. today, which is 0.8 meters above warning level and increasing. A trough of low pressure remains slow moving over Fiji and associated cloud and rain continue to affect the group. Prime Minister Borengen Bainimarama is urging Fijians to take precaution for the next few days. Bainimarama warns soil around the country is still saturated, hence posing high risks of landslide. He has urged Fijians not to seek shelter in buildings beneath steep slopes or hills. With these rains upon us, there will be no rest of the weary. Our frontline disaster response teams will be closely monitoring the movement of the general public and providing vital information to Fijians in heavily impacted areas. Please help them keep us all safe by strictly adhering to every word of their advice and directives. My name is Rama. Pardon me. People whose homes were damaged by TC Herald must channel their requests and assistance via the National Disaster Management Office. A number of people have been raising queries about the process involved in accessing the Rural Housing Assistance Program. Households earning $15,000 or less will receive subsidy on government procured building materials. Housing Minister Pramila Kumar says her ministry will be considering the NDMO list when identifying people in need of assistance. What they can do is first of all they need to go to the district offices or provincial, uh, provincial administrators and, and, and simply go to them and tell them that their house was blown away and that verification will be done at that level, at district level uh, and the, with the help of provincial administrators and that will then get recorded in the NDMO listing. A 16-year-old is among the 10 individuals arrested for breaching the curfew hours last night. The juvenile was arrested together with another 43-year-old man who were both intoxicated and returning from a social gathering in Namakanandi. In another case, a 35-year-old man from Lami was also arrested as he was walking back from Lotoka to Nawaka following a, a grog session. They are among the five people arrested in the Western Division. The Southern Division recorded one case, while the East recorded four cases. The funeral of the late former Prime Minister Laisinian Garase is being held in his village of Mavana in Bunombalabu. The body of the late Garase was escorted to the Nosori airport this morning. A handful of Fijians living within the Suva to Nosori a corridor braved the rain as they were out to show their final respects. The 79-year-old is survived by his wife, Lemba, their seven children, 26 grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. The sugarcane growers fund through its rehabilitation package has assisted over 70 growers affected by tropical cyclone Harold. The fund is also assisting farmers either directly or indirectly affected by the impacts of COVID-19. Chief Executive Raj Sharma says they have been visiting farmers in Kabua, Ba and Singatoka. Sharma says they will consider loans for growers on a case-by-case -case basis.
Our board has approved uh, activation of the rehabilitation package, means the farmers can apply for a loan, which is uh, no fee is applied. They don't have to pay any $10 or $12 application fee. These loans are given to them uh, for the purpose that is needed for reactivation. After one month since being diagnosed with coronavirus, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has returned to Downing Street. But normality won't return to the UK for many months, with Johnson urging the British people to embrace the lockdown or risk a second wave of infection. Up ahead, Ikuniconda awaits clearance from doctors. And Winston Hill confident about Korea. This and more coming up. Bula FM number two and a Bula FM number two and Fiji Airways National Sevens playmaker Libai Kanikonda is still upbeat about being named into the 2020 Olympic squad. I have been doing my own individual training that was given by Fiji Rugby. I am working on the area that I was injured during the last test, my ankle. The doctors have not advised me on anything yet. I am still doing my own rehab, especially at work where they have provided a place for me to train. He was instrumental in helping Fiji to recover a victory rather at the Gold Coast Sevens tournament in Australia and the 2012-2013 HSBC World Seven Series. Fiji's top amateur boxer Winston Hill is determined to make a comeback in the 2024 Olympic Games. Hill, along with Chonin the Wule, both failed to qualify for the 2020 Olympic Games after bowing out in the first round of the qualifiers in Jordan earlier this year. Hill is now looking at bringing in international coaches and trainers to help him improve his boxing career. The next big thing is the Olympic Games and you know, if, uh, if we are, since we are unable to qualify for the Olympic Games, we're looking at the next uh, tournament and competition regionally. Um, we're taking everything back to the drawing board um, and trying to align ourselves with international coaches and expert trainers to come in and really step up the game of uh, boxing in Fiji. Warriors appear to be getting closer to a scheduled departure to join the rebooted NRL season. But while there are plenty of verbal assurances, the club wants something more concrete. As reported earlier in the bulletin, the rainy weather is expected to continue until the weekend. A heavy rain and flash flood warning remains in force for many parts of the country. And that's your FBC News Now. Join us again at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. Remember, in times of crisis, you need factual news that you can trust. Please don't believe fake news about COVID-19 on social media. Fight misinformation by getting only the facts about the coronavirus from verified news sources like FBC's TV, radio, and digital media news, www.fbcnews.com.fj. Keeping Fijians connected with the truth. Keep safe. Number two and a Bula FM, number two and a